Welcome back, frugal friends. You'll have to forgive my <laughs> lopsided, slightly paralyzed little smile here. I just got done at the dentist. I had a filling uh, about six months ago that for some reason the bond didn't take and so I came back today to get it fixed for free because same people and within a year. So, so glad that we were able to get that done, but I meant to record this little clip before I went in there. Instead, I had a bite to eat before all this. <laughs> Priorities. Sorry guys, you lost out to a granola bar. Anyway, what are we looking at today? Well, today is another episode of helping the frugal kids grow up. And what you're going to see this time is a couple of fun clips, little shots and pics of the kids, uh, namely Mariah and Reagan, helping daddy to build a platform. Oh, it's getting, it's getting worse. Sorry, guys. <laughs> to build a platform bed in his car so that uh, they can go on adventures up in the mountains. My husband loves mountain biking and road biking, and he and Reagan are very soon going on a trip to St. George, Utah to do some mountain biking together. And instead of staying in a hotel this time, they will be staying in the mountains in my husband's car on this awesome platform that they have built together. At the end, you will see what the platform looks like. He is adding, of course, cushions, mattressy things, and they'll have sleeping bags and pillows and all of that. So stay tuned for pictures, hopefully not in this video, but hopefully soon of their adventure together. And then eventually I will brave <laughs> that platform bed maybe, and go up in the mountains with James as well for his triathlon that he is training for. This is going to leave some scratches on the car, but whatever. Well, the car is meant for stuff that's scratchy. Is this gonna, this isn't, it's gonna like not even fit one person. No, we're going to bend down those two chairs in the front and also this one and put more down. Oh, okay. Well, and, it fits good. And we need the biggest mattress, which is your mattress. Or you can get a blow up mattress. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> or mommy can just get a new mattress and you guys can have my old one. Oh. It's gonna stand once we have the other two ply boards on. All right. Fourteen and three quarters, okay? Okay. Two by four that measures fourteen and three quarters. Watch out. Let's just Mmm. I got a great view. <laughs> All right, Mimi, it's your turn to come and learn how the saw works. Reagan's gonna mark it. Proud of you. You are so awesome with that drill. Did you feel so powerful? It's not drill, it's, it's or not saw. drill, saw. But it was pretty awesome, huh? Wow. So yeah, apparently we're going to be able to just fold it back. That'll be cool. Daddy's so clever. That's two feet, twenty-four inches. So if we were to go 24 inches.
not just tooth related, lots of other things that we will be teaching and have taught and will be showcasing with uh, getting the kids ready to grow up and fly the coop. My grandma told me when Olivia was born, she's my oldest, that my most important job was to prepare my child to move out. And it hurt when she first told me that. I was like, I just had this kid. What are you talking about? But she was right. And I have taken that message to heart, enjoying every minute that I have with my kids while they are in my home, but also putting lots of energy into preparing them for the big, beautiful world that's out there waiting for them. Thank you so much for putting up with this today. I'm going to go have some yogurt or something soft. <laughs> no chewing for me for a while. We'll see you all real soon. Have a great day.